All right, I interviewed this person from my YouTube channel recently, and I'm going to keep the videos up because I think they're very helpful. And um, I do think that this person is a player and is going to take advantage of the women who call into him. I have heard him say on his videos that, hey, I'm not trying to get with any of you ladies. I'm just giving you advice. However, he was trying to get with me, and not only was he trying to get with me by coming to California, he asked if I ever come down south to where he is. So he was expecting me to come down to him to get with me. Um, I blocked him. Uh, I um, did the interview a few days ago. I think it's a good interview. I think his advice is good, but I, w I don't trust him. I thought he was a player. I think he still is a player. And just now, even though I blocked him, his video just popped up. He apparently has now a website where he does coaching. And I feel bad for these women who are going to go to him for coaching in a vulnerable state trusting him when he is not trustworthy. I don't think this guy is trustworthy. I don't like to badmouth people, um, but I did have his interviews up. Maybe I should take the interviews down. I don't know what you guys think, but he was definitely trying to get with me. In the interview, he kept telling me how beautiful I am, which was fine. I didn't mind that, but when he said, hey, do you ever come down south? I thought that was very inappropriate. Um, if you want to see someone, you go to them. Um, he apparently was trying to get with me. He lied, and I am uh, I have it together. I don't fall for stuff like that, but some women might. They're calling him for advice. And um, I think we have to be very, very careful who we take advice from. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that you can find about people that are, everyone respects, including Gabby Bernstein, including Teal Swan, who are fakes and frauds. Um, people in the Manosphere, Rolo Tomasi, um, um, so many people. Like, you can't idolize anyone, and I think... The only people, I mean, that's a good thing about licensed therapists. They have an ethical oath, oath that they have to take. They have, they cannot merge these kinds of things. They can't take advantage of people. I think when you're dealing with private people who are not licensed by a regulatory board, they're, they don't have the same ethical standards, including me as a coach. Um, I... Uh, I just think that people, when they're in their most vulnerable states, have to be very careful who they trust. I myself in my life, I have been to a couple therapists uh, over the years who were not trustworthy. One was just trying to get my money and one was misleading me, bringing her own personal preferences in and judging me for mine. Um, and I got mad at both of them. I have enough oomph to stand up, but some people don't. Um, gosh, there's so many false prophets, liars, and people will take advantage of you, not just on the dating sites, but even people who give advice, authors, coaches, you know, people who just run a business to take your money. Even spiritual people work for some of these retreat places like Tony Robbins and the Heart, Advanced Heart, whatever. Some of those people are scoundrels. Um, the Maharishi movement, you know, in any movement, there are scoundrels. Uh, there was someone who fell today in the, in the church community. I forgot his name. It was this black man who was professing to really help people. He turned out to be a closeted homosexual who groomed boys. Um, you know, I think the best advice is people teaching you how to love yourself and don't just cling to any one person as your savior, as, uh, you know, you have to vet everyone. You have to vet your YouTubers. You have to vet me. You have to vet your coaches. You can't just blindly trust people. You know, we have to... Um, have some common sense. In the case of this, in case of these people, I see through them pretty quick. I'm like, hmm, I don't think I trust this person. Just always ask yourself, does this person seem trustworthy? And then if you find out that someone wasn't, go back and look at them and see what 
flags you miss because you can see in their eyes how they talk in their demeanor if they're trustworthy or if they're lying or playing a game if they're super charming or seductive or they're like this is how it is or they're super negative or they're always bashing other people or they have to be right or they're just trying to get your money something those are all red flags you know, I'm the way, I know all the answers, you know, this is how you get enlightened. Um, those are all bad signs, bad signs. Um, that's my second video about um, this topic. Um, I do want to say there are lots of good men out there and good women out there. And I think we just have to be careful. There are a lot of wolves out there too that will devour you <laughs> dressed like a little red riding hood but there's a wolf in there so or worse like amber heard like a psychotic one who will ruin your life for years narcissists but i'm not even talking about narcissists i'm just talking about people who are like uh you think you can trust them to collaborate with them or be your friend and then really they just had a hidden agenda all along uh, their agenda wasn't to collaborate. Their agenda was to lead you on, to smooth talk you, to get something, to get your money or get your attention. Um, that was their agenda. So you might want to go and look on YouTube and find videos about some of these people who have fallen from grace. A lot of these biblical pastors, you know, they need the fame and adoration I think a good thing to look for is when people, um, uh, a good sign is if people are like um, vulnerable and share with you some of their own journey, their own bad childhood or their own mistakes, their own vulnerabilities, even just in general, you know, like a therapist who says that she was in abusive relationships or a therapist who says she's worked through her own childhood abuse. Uh, people who've worked through things um, and they're not looking for um, they're trying to help people they're not looking for admiration look at me look at me look at me it's more like here are some things to help you um, go back and look at the people that you trusted that were fake and see if you can start spotting the signs uh, charm seduction um, I have all the answers, you know, follow me, selling expensive courses, um, stuff like that. Never talking about their own lives, like that Rolo Tomasi never talks about his wife or his daughter or his marriage. He talks about, you know, spinning plates and being single, but he's been married 25 years. He ought to be teaching people about marriage and talking about his wife. Why isn't he? Like when people don't share about themselves, I don't trust them. When they don't share about what's going on now, like that man that I interviewed, he doesn't talk about anything that's going on now. He just gives you advice. Maybe that's what threw me off about him. But uh, anyway, I don't want you to bother his channel or anything. I'm not giving his name. Uh, I'm just sharing an experience without wanting to badmouth anyone. And um, thank you for watching my video.